Hello everyone and welcome back to JJ Sometimes B. Today I have something special. I got this in the mail from eBay not too long ago and if you haven't already guessed, it's the Bricktober Jurassic World set. I'm really excited to open this up and review it for you guys so let's get started. So taking it out of the box, it's got this nice clear protector. You can also put it back in the box so that's really easy. Just slide it back on. So let's first take a look at Claire. So this is the Claire Deering that comes in this set. It's from the scene in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom where she's coming up the elevator to her dino protection group. She comes with a little phone, the standard Lego phone with the 81% and the, the little human, or minifigure I should say. She's got nice printing. I like this vest or jacket printing that goes all the way down to her legs. I really like her face. It's different from the usual one, and we'll bring that one in soon. But it does bring a uh, Bryce Hiles Howard vibe. And then she also has another face on the back. This is the second face that she has. I would say it's more of like a concerned face, maybe, um, or worried. But I like this expression a lot. It's very different from the first one and any other Claire face that we've had. Uh, this is her back printing. Nice detail back there. And then let's bring in the previous Claire that we had. Alright, so this is the previous Claire that we've had. I do prefer this one's face more. This is the standard Lego face where you have one eyebrow up. They do that for a lot of female figures, I feel like. Also, as you can see, this one's neck printing is a lot nicer. It matches her skin tone a lot better. While this one, it's more of like a ghostly pale white skin color compared to the face. Like you can see the difference. I do like the jacket though. I feel like the body, like the overall clothes that she's wearing is better. But I do like the, I do like how they give this outfit. So yeah, overall, they compare nicely to each other. It's cool how we have Claire from different parts of the movie. So, let's get on to Owen. So this is the Owen that we get in this Bricktober set. Now let's take a closer look. I like his face, it's very expressive. And it's cool because it's another Chris Pratt face, so you can use that, it'll be very helpful. He's in his uh, raptor training outfit that you saw in Fallen Kingdom. He's got nice arm printing. If you see that, it's one of the armor protector things, so when the raptor bites, He's got this satchel or man bag. So this is his full torso print. I really like this. It's very detailed. I like how he's got a belt printed on to his waist. That's really cool. He's also got this back printing. Let's see the other face. Okay, this face is pretty funny. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I like it a lot. I guess we would call this the face. Alright, let's compare it to the old Lego Owen. I can notice that the old one has a very defined mustache on his upper lip, while this one just has a stubble on his lip. If you can see that. That's just a little thing. Also, the Bricktober one does not seem to have any cheekbone lines. Like on this Owen, you can see some definitive bone structure in this one, you can't. Same issue with the Claire. This guy's neck printing is a lot pastier than the actual skin tone that he's printed on for his face. And this one seems to match it a lot better. This Owen has a little bit more leg printing, which is cool. But overall, I like the new Owen's uh, outfit more. I really like that side arm piece. That's really cool. So yeah, that's Owen. Let's move on to Dr. Ian Malcolm. So this is our Ian Malcolm in this set. It's really cool to get a Jeff Goldblum Lego figure. I just think that's awesome. So this figure comes with a torch, or you could call it a flare. I'll call it a flare because that's what it was in Jurassic Park. He's got this nice necklace printed onto him. Which is cool because you can see he's got chest hair. 
which I think is really funny. Odd thing is that his belt is cut because it doesn't extend to the the waist, like it's not printed onto the waist, but that doesn't really bother me. I really like this outfit that he's got going. No leg printing. I think that's fine. It's simple. It works well with this figure. And he's got some details on the back. The second face, he's got a much more stern face. Maybe this is the one where he's running toward, uh, running away from the T-Rex, I should say. I like this one. I think, um, I don't know which face I like more. Probably the second one, or the first one, just because it, he looks a lot more Jeff goldblum -y with his charisma. But let's compare this to the one that we got in that T-Rex Rampage set. So now we have the Jeff Goldblum or Ian Malcolm minifigure from the T-Rex Rampage set. Of course, I must say this again, the neck printing on the Bricktober one is a lot nicer. I mean, this one is not as bad as the Claire or Owen. I feel like they... Because if you look at the ones on... Oh, and you can tell it's a lot more pasty. I feel like this one matches up with the head a lot better than it did on the regular Jurassic World figures. I think they took more time and like did another coat on this guy just because it was such an expensive set that he was in. But yeah, it doesn't match as well as it does on the Bricktober one. You can definitely see. But I really like this one. I think it's so funny how they included it from the scene where he was laying on the bed. He does have leg printing, but this is the two. I think they really go well together. I just really like how they're unique to different parts of the movie. Like Next up, we have a little disappointing figure, I guess. It's the baby blue and the turkey leg. It's an odd inclusion because we all know we never got this guy in a set, right? But... It's kind of funny they include this chicken wing, turkey leg, but let's take a look at blue. It's your standard baby blue. It's got the details on both sides. I'd say the eyes are lined up pretty straight. Sometimes they're really off. I don't know why. But yeah, it's your standard baby blue, which obviously not exclusive to this set. And you also get a turkey leg. So that's funny. You could have Owen feed Baby Blue if you really wanted. That's actually a pretty cute diorama. So overall, I really like this Bricktober set. I've never gotten one. And once I heard that they were coming out with a minifigure pack, I was really excited but also disappointed because it would be a Toys R Us exclusive, which in the U.S., every Toys R Us is closed, I believe. Um, but I finally got this off of eBay. I got it at a decent price, and I'm really happy to have it. My only complaint would be the baby blue figure. I don't know why they included it, but it still makes for a cute diorama. I really like this set. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace be with you.